display opposite roles. Sir Thomas More is a man who always sticks to his morals and values, while the common man plays a variety of typical roles in society to establish his universal nature and displays the theme of letting others define him. Throughout Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Connor Ketchell, and I'm so excited to be here today. Over the past four years, I have learned that Fairview High School is much more than a building made for academic learning, tests, grades, and homework. Instead, it is a place where friendships are created and memories are made. Fairview is a place where students have the opportunity to show who they were meant to be, and they are encouraged to go above and beyond the standards. So, I wanted to say thank you to Fairview for teaching me and everyone else here today to be themselves. After being nominated in the yearbook as most likely to come back as Fairview's staff, <laughs> I came to realize that this isn't actually such a bad thing after all. Fairview has always hired amazing teachers and staff, and they've always been the absolute best. Your music, your performances, your art, all astonishing. Thank you so much for sharing that all with us. So I've been thinking about this speech for several months. The more I thought about it, the more I realized I had too much to say. I wrote a few different speeches, but they were so boring. I actually bored myself. So I took it to the Twitter sphere as we do nowadays, and I asked, hashtag, what should I talk about? I got three responses. Lopez, pandas, and mermaids. So, instead of standing up here rambling on and saying a bunch of things you've already heard, I decided to give the people what they wanted. So here goes. The average 50 cc engine of a moped gets between 100 to 150 miles to the gallon and releases about an eighth of the emissions as a standard sedan. Drive one, they're so fun. Maybe not so much in this weather, but typically in Colorado, they're very fun. You get to zip around town, pick up a friend, wear funny helmets, silly goggles, while being nice to the environment. So I know you're sitting there saying, is she really talking about mopeds? I am, because I think it's important that each one of us is a steward to our environment, that we take care that there's a level of care we give to our surroundings. Take care of your world. Take care of your community. Take care of one another. And take care of yourselves. Speaking of taking care, we really need to take care of the pandas. There are approximately two from suffering. And may we all benefit from the merits of one another's work. I truly bow to each and every one of you. Namaste. Congratulations, guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Calvin Munson. And this is one of my mom's chocolate chip cookies. It's made of flour, sugar, eggs, chocolate chips. To pretty much anyone else, 
all this cookie is is a tasty treat. But to me, this cookie represents my home. I can guarantee that I will never have a chocolate chip cookie quite like this in college. So when I take a bite, I get memories of my family and of my home. Moving on to the cookies. Although we've all already thought about it, it has never been more apparent than right now. It's been highlighted by the countdown, it's now at zero on the windows of the senior lounge. We are leaving. And it's not just Mary that we are leaving, it's our homes. In three short months, give or take, we will be leaving all that we know. Our families, friends, houses, pets. All that we hold dear, we are going to inevitably part with. It's going to be sad, so how can we deal with it? Our situation is similar to the situation of a character in one of my favorite Disney movies, Up. Like us, Mr. Fredrickson had the goal to pursue, but to do so, he had to leave behind all that he knew. And like us, he dealt with all sorts of setbacks along the way. His wife tragically dies, and he's essentially forced into the friendship of a small, slightly obnoxious boy scout and a large, colorful bird. And he, like us, has to figure out what's going to be the next step. Something that I found inspiring about his story was that he never left his home. First of all, he literally never left his house. But metaphorically, he didn't let his home and his past life escape him. He brought remnants of the past with him on his journey. His photo album, a picture of him and his wife, his house, and he allowed them to inspire him throughout his life. While bringing our house to college may not be the best of ideas, there are so many ways to bring little pieces of home with us. Pictures of our family and friends. Colorado gear, such as a flag or a sweatshirt. A simple homemade cookie. We should never forget where we came from. Our homes and our lives here in Colorado have defined who we are and have shaped us as individuals as we scatter to different parts of the world. Congratulations, seniors. We have been given the opportunity to step outside the boundaries of what we hold familiar into something completely new, exciting, and different. So class of 2015, I leave you with these parting words. Thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. And now I get the privilege to introduce our graduation speakers, Kelly Gilbert and Angela Fay. First up, it's Kelly Gilbert. I really liked, and it's a person with whom one is allied in a struggle or cause. The truth is that getting here today, many of us have faced challenges. We walked into school freshman year, intimidated by the large cinder block building and the sea of students. We meekly said hi to others as we struggled to figure this whole high school thing out. We began to open up to each other. But the biggest struggle that I remember is on Monday, September 9th, it started raining. Nobody thought much of it at first. We began as a few extra days off of school. But as the rain continued and the flooding hit, the harsh reality began to set in. The box has taught me so much about what is in the box and out of it too. As a class, we have spent our last few years in a box. We go to the same classes every day, see the same people every day, go to the same sports and clubs, all in the box. It may seem repetitive, but from these interactions have we grown so much. From this, we have learned so much about what is in the box and out of it too. And today, we will be leaving the box. And thirdly, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I'm <laughs> just, just kidding. The third lesson is that the world does not end. No matter how much I serve as the poster child for teenage angst, getting a young adult through high school. It's an accomplishment for all of you. It's been a genuine privilege to teach your sons and daughters. There is a tradition of recognizing exceptional academic performance over the course of four years. This year, we are acknowledging three groups of students who demonstrated superior academic performance based on weighted GPA. The first group, in the top 20%, are graduating cum laude, they are wearing gray cords. The second group, and the top 10%, are graduating magna cum laude. 
and they are wearing white cords. And that last group, truly remarkable. They are in the top 3% of academic performance, and they are graduating summa cum laude, and they are wearing gray and white cords. All of these honorees are noted in the program. Graduates, if you are wearing one of these cords, please stand and be recognized. International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidates. Candidates, please stand. Thank you. 